Hey y'all, it's me and Lauren. Welcome to All the Power Ministries. And if you're new here, I am so excited. I have a very special word for you today. So this word is not for everybody, but if it's for you, the Holy Spirit will confirm it. So make sure to always take it to the Holy Spirit. Ask him if this word is for you and how you should apply it in your life. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about favoritism. It was really interesting because the Lord began to highlight for the last several months, the number 211. I would just see it here and there. Well, I would say probably several weeks ago, I noticed it and I prayed and I asked the Lord, Lord, what are you trying to show me? Now, remember that when we are walking closely with the Lord, he is constantly refining us and showing us things and working on our hearts. And so we can't ignore these little signs all day. If you're noticing a repeating number, I literally just looked and saw 1111. Um, if you're noticing a specific word or God just highlights something when you look, maybe you see a particular word and the Lord is like highlighting it. Always pray and ask the Lord if he is trying to show you something, okay? Because nine times out of 10, he is. God is always speaking. And many times we're like, Lord, I just don't hear you. I just don't hear you. When really we're just not being sensitive to his spirit or his voice, or we're expecting it in another way. And he uses everything to communicate with us. So Mind you, I see this number, it's highlighted. I say, Lord, what are you trying to show me? And I hear Romans 2, 11. So sometimes he'll take me to scripture. Sometimes he'll take me to multiple scriptures. Sometimes he'll have me look it up in the Strong's Concordance. Sometimes he'll have me look up the biblical number. Sometimes the numbers will represent a date, all kinds of things. So always ask the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it's more than one. For example, never mind. I was going to tell you that he had me look up the scripture several places and look it up in Strong's. And so, yeah, but anyway, so this particular time he took me to Romans 2, 11, I got there and it said, the Lord, your God does not show favoritism. And I was like, mm, I must've heard the Lord wrong. And I just like brushed it off and kept going. Well, yesterday I woke up and I kept seeing 2, 11 literally everywhere. I couldn't shake it. I was like, okay, Lord, please um, show me what you're trying to tell me. And I hear Romans 2, 11. So I go to Romans 2, 11, not remembering that I've already been there a couple of weeks ago. And when I read the scripture again, for the Lord, your God does not show favoritism this time. I'm like, okay, you brought me here twice. So what am I missing? So I start to look up this word favoritism. I start to look into this a lot more and I'm like, Lord, what does this mean? Does that mean that I'm not your favorite? Like I'm starting to wonder all these things. And basically this is where the Lord led me that favoritism is a sin. Okay. And so it, it works both ways. Okay. So many of us have had this sin of favoritism committed against us. And, and because of that, many of us actually have wounds from it. It might be wounds of rejection. Um, I'm not really sure what specific wounds can be formed, um, from this, this type of rejection. Um, but many of us are also operating in the spirit of favoritism. Okay. And so the Lord began to highlight this to me and said, this is a sin. It may not always feel like, oh, like subconsciously you're judging people and you're, um, you're more likely to lay your hands up for this person because of the way they look or how they're dressed. But the homeless person who comes in, you're like, I'm not sure if I want to touch them. God is saying, I hate favoritism. I hate favoritism. He says it, um, in James, he says it all throughout his word that he hates partiality um, and all that stuff. So I began to examine my heart, Lord, do I have favoritism? So the Lord began to show me like, yes. And I remembered a particular situation where, you know, we have people come into our church all the time. And a lot of times they're like young girls like me. And I'm like, oh yeah, like I'm help you. Like I do, like I'll stay here. Like, and then I just remember like a couple of weeks ago, we had like a lady who was, you know, not dressed as nice. You could tell she had sores on her body and I am such like, um, it's not really anything against anyone. It's just, I'm a very like clean person. So even if like you come out of the bathroom, I'm not sure that you washed your hands. Like, I don't want to shake your hand. Um, so I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I want to lay my hands on her. And the Lord like highlighted that to me. And you guys, I'm just being real and open and vulnerable because I believe that when we confess our sins, um, that we are healed. And so this is not for you to be like, oh my gosh, Nina, I can't believe you would do that. This is for you to kind of examine your heart, say, oh, where have I kind of gone uh, wrong in this area? And I didn't even really realize it. Like, I didn't really realize it. Like in my mind, I was just thinking, um, like, I don't know, you know, you know, <laughs> and so, um, obviously I repented for that. And I asked the Lord to in increase my capacity to love. And, um, 
to to just look at everyone through his eyes and to not be more partial to someone who looks clean and someone who looks dirty, you know, not show any type of favoritism. And so I began to repent for that. And as I began to repent for that, and some of you right now, you're getting convicted. The Holy Spirit is highlighting things. That's how you know this word is for you. Um, as I began to do that, the Lord began to reveal to me that the reason why I was doing that is because that had happened to me. Okay. And I remembered back to my childhood. Now, this is nothing against my parents. I absolutely love them. They're amazing parents. But I was the middle child. And I was often spoke that was often spoken over me that, you know, I had the older sister who did everything right. You know, she played the sports that my dad wanted us to play. She was like track star. She still holds the record at our high school. And she's like in her 30s now or mid 30s. Um, so she obviously graduated like years ago and literally still holds the records, right? She excelled in everything. She went off to college. She actually received her master's degree. She just like literally just did everything so right. And I was that girl who dropped out of college five times. I was a social butterfly. I wanted to do cheerleading and not track. And my dad was like, you can't do cheerleading. You can't get a scholarship off that. You know, my sister got a scholarship for running track. I hated running track. I wanted to do everything basically that <laughs> my parents like <laughs> didn't want me to do. And so I often... I often, it wasn't that my, my parents showed favoritism, but I always felt like, um, like I wasn't at, I wasn't, uh, uh, like performing up to their standards. And I would watch my older sister just receive all of these accolades, not even from my parents, but from her peers, from the school, all these things. And I realized that even throughout my life, even um, in relationships in high school and middle school, I can remember um, in sixth grade being on the cheerleading team and my best friend was dating the cheer coach's son and she was showing her extreme favoritism. I mean, extreme favoritism to the point where I literally remember to this day, like it literally scarred me. And so the Lord was just showing me like, Hey, you have these wounds where you have been rejected, where people have shown favoritism. And so the Lord um, really began to deal with me on this. And um, so if that's you, if you have been wounded by the sin of favoritism, maybe where um, someone favorited someone over you and now you have wounds of rejection. The Lord wants to heal you of that today. Also, the Lord wants you to examine your heart and repent and renounce of anywhere that you have shown favoritism. He wants you to know that this is a sin. And so it may seem very small, it may seem insignificant, but the Lord is on a a journey to purify us. And we have to remember that sin is a legal door to the enemy. And so as I began to pray and repent and receive healing, I actually received deliverance as well. I'm not even sure what it was from, but the Lord delivered me from enemy oppression. Okay. From oppression in my, in my body, whether it was in my mind, whatever it was, whatever it was embedded in that wound of rejection, so whatever left, left, I got set free. So I just want to encourage you. And that's why I feel like the Lord, I, I feel kind of silly like doing this, but I know the Lord was like, there's other people who have this and they need healing. They need healing because it is causing their perspective to be off and they are, they're missing, they're missing things because they are showing favoritism or they are viewing people through a lens of rejection because they have that wound of rejection. And so many people have the wounds of rejection and many, much of that rejection comes from the sin of favoritism. So I want to pray with you today that we would examine our hearts and be free from the sin of favoritism. I also want to pray that the Lord would heal you from any wounds caused by this sin and deliver you and set you free today. And then we want to invite the Holy Spirit to have access, full reign over our life. We want to submit this area of our life to the Holy Spirit so that we don't fall into this sin anymore. Okay. So if this is for you, I want you to type in the comments, sis, this was my word. I needed this today. And please help me not feel so, <laughs> so silly, but whatever God tells me to do, I'm going to do it. You already know that. So he's like, I want you to make this video on favoritism. I'm like, okay, Lord. I know it's for somebody, even if it's one person, I know it's for somebody. It healed me. It was very beautiful. So let's go ahead and pray. So uh, let's start with you going ahead 
and uh, coming before the Lord and go ahead and just worship him, acknowledge him, thank him. Father, we thank you. We love you. We praise you. You are Abba. Thank you for always um, working on our hearts. Thank you for always exposing enemy plots in our life where the enemy is trying to keep us bound or held captive in, uh, in areas in our life and in our soul realm. Lord, we thank you that you expose it, that you always bring it to the light. We thank you, Lord, for always searching our heart and exposing where there's sin, where there's darkness, where there's things that are not pleasing to you, Lord. And so we just partner with you in this moment, and we ask you to search our hearts. Holy Spirit, I pray that right now you would begin to impress on us any areas in our life where we have shown favoritism, where we have walked in, in this sin and committed in this sin. So Lord, we begin to repent of those. So go ahead and just repent of those situations. You can say, I renounce the situation. I repent of this situation. Lord, I'm sorry for this situation. Go ahead and take a moment to do that. If you need to pause this video, go ahead and feel free to pause this and then resume it once you're done. So yes, Lord, we just repent of all of every sin of favoritism, known and unknown. We are so sorry, Lord. We know that you do not show favoritism. You, you show no partiality. You are a just and righteous father. That all are your creation and you love us all equally, even though, you know, we're your favorite. <laughs> we love you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just received the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over these sins. We ask that you would cover these sins in the blood of Jesus, that you would wash them in the blood of Jesus. We nail them to the cross. We thank you, Lord, that the blood of Jesus covers them, that they are blotted away, that you remember them no more. They're as far as the east is from the west. And so because you release them, we release them. We receive your forgiveness. We receive your mercy in the name of Jesus. And we just slam the door right now. We close the door and seal it with the blood of Jesus uh, in the spirit realm to any, uh, any open door that this has caused in our life. If it's open a door to demonic trafficking, we close that door right now with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we just thank you for the power, the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. We invite, um, I want you to go ahead and think of specific situations where favoritism was shown and it caused rejection or hurt or uh, pain in your life. And just begin to release that to the Lord. Say, Holy Spirit, I invite you into these situations. I invite you into this trauma. I invite you into this rejection. I invite you into this soul wound. I pray, Father, that you would release the power of dunamis to heal me, to make me excellent of soul. I release um, all of the sins that are committed, uh, committed with it. Like maybe someone rejected you. I remember, this is a great example. In third grade, I had two friends and they were named Monica. And I introduced one, one Monica to the other. Then they formed an alliance against me because their names were Monica and mine was not. And they told me that I couldn't hang out with them, that I couldn't talk with them, that they were better than me because their names were Monica. And they basically began to bully me. And I remember because of this sin of favoritism, I was so rejected that I wrote them a letter and I said, I will kill you. I was in third grade. I had no idea what I was talking about, but I got sent home. I got in huge trouble. My mom was like, why did you do that? And I was just like, I was so angry and hurt. Like I wouldn't really kill anybody, but. That was just that anger. So that was a sin that was associated with it. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing that to my remembrance. So I repent of that right now. I cover that in the blood of Jesus. Every sin that's come from favoritism, that's come from rejection that I've committed, I just repent of that right now. And Holy Spirit, we invite you in to heal these soul wounds. We invite you in to make us new and restore our souls in this area. We thank you, Lord, that we renew our minds right now with the word of God, that we are not rejected, that we are chosen, that we are accepted, that you love us, that you chose us before the foundations of the earth, that it was your good will and pleasure according to Ephesians chapter two, where my Ephesians chapter one, Lord, that it was your good will and pleasure that you chose us before the foundation of the earth, that it was your pleasure to take our place on the cross. And so we thank you, Lord, that we are not rejected, but we are accepted, that we are a royal priesthood, that we are a holy nation, that we are a peculiar people. We thank you, Lord, that you have good plans for us, that your thoughts toward us are good, that you never reject us, but you always receive us unto yourselves. And so we thank you that you even sent your own self, your son, 
to take our place so that our relationship can be restored so you can so we can be accepted into the family so that we can be adopted as sons and daughters so we just shatter every lie of rejection right now every lie that someone else is better than us or this person deserves deserves favor and we don't we shatter those lies right now with the word of god we wield our sword and we just dismantle every demonic lie right now we cut the webs right now in every mind i plead the blood of jesus over every mind who has come into these thoughts i pray right now for the reconstruction of neural pathways for the healing of the soul wounds for the healing of the trauma we invite you in holy spirit in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I feel the spirit of God. I feel it in my belly. So if you need to pause this and just continue just to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to come to send his resurrection power. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Fill us in this area. Renew us in this area. Restore our soul where it's been wounded. Restore our soul. Just decree out of your mouth, I am excellent of soul. I am healed of every trauma of rejection, of every trauma from the sin of favoritism. I am healed by the blood of Jesus and by his resurrection dunamis power in the name of jesus hallelujah you need to pause that pause there and stay into this some of you may be crying because experiences are coming up allow the lord to heal you pause this video stay in his presence let him work on your heart and deal with you in those areas and then when you are ready resume this video okay all right. So yes, we thank you, Lord. And right now I command every unclean spirit, every spirit of rejection, every spirit that came in through this sin, this sin of favoritism, I command them up and out in the name of Jesus. I command them to release your sons and your daughters right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would, ooh, I feel the power of God right now. I pray, Lord, that you would send a righteous judgment from your throne, your throne right now against every single demonic, unclean spirit that has come in through this open door. I thank you that the door is already closed in this spirit, that they're already healed in their soul, that they have no legal right, they have nothing in common with this person, and they must go now in the name of Jesus. I command you to leave now in the name of Jesus, never to return. I cast you into the abyss in the name of Jesus, the Lord God convicts you and you have to leave now. You have to leave their womb and their children and their family in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Woo, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come and fill us in this area. We completely surrender this area of our lives to you, Lord. Give us eyes to see people the way that you see them. Give us a greater uh, revelation of your love because your word says that we love because you first loved us. So in order for us to love people and not show favoritism, we need a greater revelation of your love. So I pray, Lord, that you would pour out your love on the person listening right now that you would give us a greater capacity to receive your love and to share your love. That when we look at people, we would look at them through the eyes of Christ. Holy Spirit, we invite you to be Lord over this area of our life, to have full control. We were no longer going to go uh, based off wounds. Thank you that they're healed, Lord, based off um, flesh. But we are going to uh, walk by the Spirit in this area of our lives. We're going to treat everyone as they are, as they are a child of God, as they are loved and purpose and chosen and created by you. Thank you, Lord. And we forgive everyone who has wronged us by this sin of favoritism. We forgive them. We release them. We pray a blessing over their lives in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So thank you, Abba. You're so good. Thank you for always um, just making us whole. Thank you, Lord. How many of you know that you are on a healing journey? The Lord is making you whole. He says in Psalms 23 that he restores our soul. Okay. Many of us, the wilderness journey is literally a process of restoration of our souls so that we can step into our promised land. Many of us can't step into the fullness of God in our lives because we have so many soul wounds that are literally uh, causing demonic oppression. They are keeping us bound. They are keeping us from operating in the spirit, but operating according to the flesh or according to the unclean spirit. It's like the person, I give this analogy all the time, but it's like a person who wins the lottery, but they are not healed in their soul to receive that kind of money. And so they blow it. It's like God can't allow us sometimes into the promise until he heals us and restores us in that area so that we are operating through his spirit and not unclean spirits or our flesh or our wounds. 
And so the Lord is on this continuous process of restoring us and healing us. So I want to encourage you to ask the Lord to give you eyes to see and ears to hear what the spirit of God is doing on your life in a daily basis. Cause every single day, especially if you are praying and you are walking closely with him, which if you're watching this channel, more than likely you have a deep, intimate relationship with Abba where you're constantly um, asking him, Lord, refine me, refine me, refine me, right? Search my heart. He is. So we thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this was for you, let me know in the comments, this, this was for me. I needed this. No more favoritism. I am healed of this sin. I'm healed of rejection. We thank you so much, Lord, for that. And um, also make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any more requests of specific uh, videos like this, where we actually address the issue, walk through repentance, uh, walk through healing, deliverance, and inviting the Holy Spirit in and walk through that whole process. Let me know if there's any more that you guys want, and I'll be happy, more than happy, to record those. And um, yeah, come and join me in my monthly mentorship community for women. We are going so, so deep into this soul healing right now. And it's so awesome. We actually have an amazing guest trainer coming in next week. So you want to make sure that you hop in before Tuesday. Um, it's going to be powerful. So yeah, come join us. If you've been on the fence, I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you would nudge them. If they're supposed to be in this group, Lord, you told me if I start this group, we'll send every single woman who's meant to be in it. So I pray that you would nudge them right now and that they would be obedient in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Holy Spirit. And if you guys uh, feel led to sow into our ministry or sow into this word, the links to give are below. If you were set free and delivered, please let me know in the comments. Please let me know. Please. That would just bless me so, so much. I love y'all so much. And I will see you on the next one. Okay. Bye.